An article just came out. Billboard named Outcast the greatest group of all time. Agree or disagree? I disagree for sure. I disagree. Outcast is raw, but I can't call them the greatest group. I think because I think they say that because of Dre. Because uh, Andre, 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 Andre Stack, because yeah. he he everybody top, but least you, top five. Yeah, but you can't sure. but you can't say that that's that's <sighs> considered the greatest he, group. He, he most niggas top five. He ain't in my top five. Not, not mine either. I know, but I'm... I heard no, I, I know what you're saying. They say there, lyrically. Like, lyrically, like... He and he, he's dope, and, though. And he come, like, once every five years, do a I think that's what it is. How many, Dre, how many times you getting in your car and playing Andre 3000? His I last solo album was I really love got outcast right? in my shit. Huh? It, it wasn't a solo album, but he, it was. He really yeah. get play on my album music. I ain't even gonna hold I'm you. not saying that. I'm just saying, how often you jumping in, like, this is what we slapping. Are you talking about outcast or just Dre by itself? No, Trey three thousand by so Andre or whatever. Outcast got some hits. I'm not yeah, taking yeah. that from them. Like I'm not but saying I'm they. Not, is the question is? But the greatest like, group of all time is that that's they said Outcast is the greatest group of all time. I think for that era, maybe. maybe. No, I don't, know no, I don't even. What era was that? Because I can't like, even say they the like, era. Late nineties. Uh, Late nineties, early two thousand. They came in like mid-90s. early to mid nineties. Yeah, yeah, mid because they was on market. They was holding down the south. That's but they said of all times. So it don't even matter when they came. They said they're the greatest group. They great. Bro. I'm gonna tell. I, I disagree. Number no. one, because first of all, they broke up, so there's no way you're the greatest group. And the locks is still together. The locks right. never broke up, and the locks came about the same time or maybe sooner. So it's it's just no way to say Outcast is the greatest group ever. They don't have enough cultural influence to be saying that. Like when G Unit came, nigga. I don't there care where go. you was from. Man. You was trying to be like the niggas. I was if and you was a young nigga. Sure. And they had a, a, a everybody represented from Gen. You had the East Coast, you had the South, and you had the West and Coast. And the game West was Coast. on there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So everybody felt Just the way they G. hit the scene. You yeah. couldn't, you couldn't, yeah. you, couldn't, you, couldn't you couldn't walk outside without hearing 50 Cent G on in, in, in any nigga car. Every that wife Yeah. 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 That's facts. what I'm saying. Yeah. Every nigga that, because I was an honorary member. I, mm. I was honorary. Listen, you could tell right, me I Olivia. was 50, nigga. I had the white wow. do-rag with the fitty cock, nigga. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Look, I had I'm... the shoes, the boots, nigga. I walked in the house thumping with the boots. I was really an honorary member. G unit member. But then, nah, yeah, but them, them out, the outcast, salute the outcast, but I can't give y'all that title. Yeah, shout like out to outcast. Like I said, the, the, locks, the locks are still relevant to this day, still doing their thing. It's a lot of groups, too many groups, but a lot of groups don't stay together. If that's how we count it. No. Shout, shout out to Outkast, but man, you got the locks, you got G Unit, you got Dipset. I'm just talking about like just cultural influence, like Dipset influenced the world. Like just from fashion to slang mm. to everything. And they yeah. still doing it today. Cameron, yeah, Cameron with his pot. Yeah. Like, I'm bro. saying, but did, did you do Rockefeller count? Because they was in the air. No, they <laughs> count. They yeah. have, they have so, groups within the Rockefeller, like the yeah. Young Guns. They have I mean, yeah, nah, nah, no, I but feel I'm like we not, we not even touching cats like shit. Nigga, the Dog Pound. We not talking about Dog both, Pound. Both, both Thugs is the only group that I can think of that got a song with Biggie and Pac. You mm. feel what I mean? And Easy e mm. Like, I'm saying, we got to start bringing up the West Coast. That's why I be feeling so passionate. I feel like niggas be sleeping on the West. West Side Connection. You get what I'm saying? West yeah, Side Connection. NWA. Get, NWA, yeah. my nigga. And, and, and West Side Connection went hard on the East Coast. They was one of them niggas going hard against the whole East Coast. You get what I'm saying? Dog, Dog Pound problem. Remember New York, New York. Nigga, shit, 213. What's Snoop? Two, East Siders. Like, let's yeah. just be real. Snoop had a lot of groups. And then yeah. we got shit. You know, you start talking about the South. You got the Ghetto Boys with Scarface. And you know what I'm saying? All of them. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's groups out there that can really get it. It's just really about what resonate with your soul. But Outcast is out there. But me personally, I don't think they're the top group. Hell no, nah. it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's no way. I don't know yo, no young niggas who was outside like y'all no. would be like outcast. Because you like, had you had cash money. Oh yeah, damn, you had cash money. Damn. You had, you had no, no limit. limit. No limit. Come on, come on bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much out there, man. For yeah, real. I, I, I respectfully I disagree with that. That's a hard even like to even figure out who with is, anybody. Though. You well, had all them groups, all them fire ass groups up. It's hard to even determine who really was the firest one, though. Like, there is some, because it's some heat. It depends on what you're it's judging some, yeah. it by. Are you judging it by the music? Are you judging it by the, the, influence, the influence, the impact? Well, I mean, ain't, I'm, it, ain't the greatest goose supposed to be all that? It got to be all, yeah, they yeah. It got to be all, all, all around. around. The whole package. Well, it, yeah, man, the whole package. Man, we didn't even mention Wu Tang. And oh, I, yeah, Wu Tang. Yeah, Wu Tang is crazy. It's niggas yeah. out here that still think they're from Wu Tang. And never yeah. even met them niggas. So Shit, I remember crazy. niggas in the projects and watch, nigga. They swear down. They thought they was from New Orleans, my nigga. The way them niggas was talking. Shit. Yeah, whoa, they woo, they woo, woo, I mean, they so still like you said, do. When we say cash money. I forgot about that. Because the East Side, everybody named mama. You used to put foil in their mouth, Fact. walk, talk like they was right from the South. See, you know, a lot of niggas from Watts, they peoples originated from, 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 from That's over there. That's what I'm saying. They, like, they landed over there. That's why they got that influence. That but, part. Yeah, yeah, it's just no way to put Outcast yeah. the greatest. Like, it's just no Who way. Who even be coming up with that, man? Because I don't feel like that be us. 
Yeah, that's not exactly. us. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that ain't us. Black people would. We need to start making our own award shows. We need to start making our own fucking magazines. All the other shit. Well, that we used to have it. Doing. Well, we BT used... Awards turned into the source. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know the BT Awards. They, <laughs> they, they, shout out to BT Awards. They did their thing, and they brought Chief Keith back after they. Shout out Tyler Perry, but. I'm just saying, we just need more our own shit to be voted on. Look, rest yeah. in peace, Justo Faison. If y'all don't know oh, him, yeah. he used to host the Mixtape Awards. After he died, the Mixtape game pretty much died. But I felt like that was the pinnacle of rap when everybody was just gassing the Mixtape from Fab to Wayne to 50. Like, it yeah. introduced so many greats. And I feel like that's when we have more control of the culture. Shout out, rest in peace, DJ Drama. You feel me? We need to bring, like, that aspect of it back. Because like he DJ said- drama. I mean, I mean, you not like DJ Drama. drama. You DJ Cash 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 I'm like, what? I just said, what's the DJ Drama? Like, yeah. I'm like, damn, he just yeah. No, the, nah. I'm thinking of the Drama King. Yeah, my nah, K Slay, man. Rest in peace, K Slay. K Slay with, 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 with the mixtape. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Like, nigga, I was listening to Pat Poos in 05, but niggas didn't even know who he was. Like, who the fuck is this nigga rapping ABCs and shit? But yeah, uh, Alphabetical Slaughter. Rest in peace, Justo Faison. Rest in peace, DJ K Slay. We need to get the culture back under our control. Well, we naming this the greatest. Like, y'all don't tell us what's the greatest. We decide that shit. But yeah, respectfully. 